In the future, we'll ask your office what it thinks about you. In one of the earliest episodes of Forward Thinking, I talked about the Internet of Things and how technology will be able to shape reality around us on an individual basis. I mentioned things like entertainment systems and climate control and appliances responding to our every need before we can even voice it. But what if we go a step further and talk about intelligent buildings? IBM researchers are working on the next generation of design and architecture. It's called cognitive buildings. In this discipline, the structures we live and work in actually learn about us as we move through them and then incorporate that data in ways to improve our experience and decrease energy consumption. One use for cognitive buildings would be in hospitals. A cognitive building would be able to detect which rooms have patients in them and be able to manage airflow and air pressure to minimize the chances of contagion or infection spreading throughout the hospital. This would improve the safety of both staff and patients. Beyond that, a cognitive building could just track the movements of the people inside it at all times. You would never have to tell anyone, hey, hey, turn off the light before you leave the room because the building would do it on your behalf. In fact, the building could turn rooms into power save mode whenever they weren't being used and thus decrease energy consumption overall. That's one of the top areas of research at IBM. They have a project called Tribute, which is all about the ways we live and work in the buildings around us. And they want to find ways to save on energy consumption without causing a negative impact on our experience. There's a second project called Tools for Continuous Building Performance Auditing, or TOPAS. Now, this one is actually looking at the ways we use energy and where energy might be wasted and applies machine learning to that model so that we can make improvements. Now, in these projects, IBM isn't just focusing on making smart buildings. They're looking at making collections of smart buildings, like a college campus or an office complex, looking at the way people move through each building and maximizing the energy efficiency of the overall system. The goal is not just to make it more energy efficient, but also to make sure that it's a comfortable and pleasant experience for all the people moving through the various buildings. But what about the future? IBM also wants to create machine learning technology that can predict when maintenance needs to be done on any given system within the building. So imagine that you're walking around and you feel your phone vibrate and it's your house telling you, hey, you might want to get an HVAC person out to look at the air conditioning because we're seeing that the efficiency is starting to dip. Or, you know, the water flow in your pipes is starting to decrease, so you may want to call a plumber before it becomes a catastrophe. That could end up saving a lot of time, energy, money, and frustration. Oh, and I can't let this episode go by without talking about IBM's Watson. You remember, that's the computer system that played on Jeopardy and beat two returning champions. Watson aggregated and analyzed 5 million tweets about buildings from all around the world last year, and it learned some pretty interesting things. For example, did you know the best restrooms in the world are apparently at the Sydney Opera House? Or that if you go to visit the Louvre, you better not expect a working air conditioning system? Well, Watson knows. And in fact, architects can take the best practices from those learnings and put them into their own designs. But what do you guys think? If you were designing the building of the future, what one thing would absolutely have to be there? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring the show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that little like button and join the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to the channel. Then check out these other amazing videos about the future right over here.